off, uh, you guys have clinched a state berth. Just, you know, it doesn't happen with every program, but there's a certain standard with Columbia River Soccer uh, that makes that standard a certain uh, achievement. So just what does that mean for you guys to, to clinch another berth, even though uh, you guys aren't done yet by any means? Um, well, it really just means we just got more work to do, and it means so much to us, basically, because of the years before because of all the work they put in and lo especially losing that semifinal game, this team now we're wanting to go back there and, and we're, instead of losing, we're gonna try and win and we wanna see how far we can go for the guys before that graduated and for like the years before. Yeah, we're gonna focus on districts, yeah. but for state, when we go in there, we wanna keep going for like, for the guys before and then for these guys to carry on motivation for the next years. And it's just about, you know, keeping the legacy going. I couldn't help but notice that Coach Callahan was talking about not only at halftime, but just a few minutes ago about this performance tonight, good, but not good enough. Like, what does he mean by that? You guys are league champs. You guys are undefeated. You guys have outscored teams 100 to 6. Like, what more can you guys do? Uh, I feel like we, we could obviously play a, a little better in, uh, in the whole game. Like, uh, we could have fixed our touches a little more. And I feel like we, we didn't play as good as we wanted to, but it was all right. It really just means how, like, we could always play better. There's always something we can improve on. We're never going to play perfect. Yeah. So it's just finding those things that we can work on and improving on them for the next game yeah. and make sure we just get better at every little thing. Even, like, even though we are winning these games, making sure we focus on every little detail so we can win the next games and every other game besides this. So what's going to be the focus now looking ahead to Thursday, the winner of Aberdeen, Tumwater? I know that league's pretty tough up there. So what's going to be that focus the next 48 hours? Well, we're just going to prep ourselves well, you know, hydrate, eat healthy, ice, and we're just going to focus like it's another game, and we're going to go out there and we're going to fight like we did this game, and we're just going to win no matter what teams we're playing. Obviously, I just mentioned, you guys are undefeated. Um, that league up there, the two ways, are probably a little bit better than the two ways this year down here. So playing a team like WF West, what did they bring out in you guys? Well, this is a type of team, a type of style that you kind of hoping you would get as, as you kind of get deeper in the postseason? Uh, yeah, um, I feel like we all knew that this game was going to be a much harder game than any, uh, any other game in our league. So we are just preparing for the, uh, how intense it was going to be. And yeah. yeah. And it's just you know seeing new opponents. We could face all kinds up, up north and north teams. They got, they got more heart than the teams down here. Like, they got good ability, and they just fight with heart. Like, WF West, they came out with a whole lot of energy that second half, and they came to fight, and they came to play. So it's just good being able to play these teams up north so we get us ready for the state teams. We're playing all the teams from all over that are going to be fighting and have the technical ability. It's good to face the different areas.